When you first start playing Rocket League, you are faced with so many different mechanics to learn and to try and get your head around. We all succeed in some and find others a bit more difficult, but one thing is for certain, every one of us at some point in our early Rocket League lives wanted to learn to air dribble more than anything else. Now let's bear in mind that I am a champ 2 player and so I do have a basic understanding of what is needed to perform an air dribble. That being said, here are the results. In the first 15 minutes I was very inconsistent. Sometimes I would pretty cleanly be able to dribble it where I wanted, and sometimes I would completely mess up and land on the roof of my car. At this point I couldn't yet figure out what I was doing differently that helped me successfully air dribble. Now 30 minutes in I'd started to pick up on a few things that I was doing wrong. I started to slow down and really look at what part of the air dribble was going wrong and how to correct it. What I had noticed is that despite knowing I should be feathering my boost, I still wasn't. And this came from trying to keep up with the ball after the initial touch. From here, I started to slow down and let go of the boost a little while before the initial touch off the wall so that the ball would stay quite close as I was coming off the wall myself. This would eliminate the need to hold down the boost and try and catch up. Forty-five minutes in and I'd picked up on a few other things I could do to become more consistent. One of the first things I started doing was to not jump immediately after making the initial contact with the ball, but to wait half a second and then come off the wall. This gives you a bit more height in those situations where you might have hit the ball a little bit too hard and sent it too far away from you. It also saves you boost when performing in a real match. Now one of the other things I started doing was letting go of acceleration while in the air. I remembered a comment on one of my videos from months ago asking if I did this while air dribbling and thought I should try it out. For me, this seemed to help me out a lot. Now I do know that Rocket Science has put out a video explaining accelerating the air and so if you want to learn more about it then definitely go check out his channel. But if you've not tried letting go of accelerating while air dribbling, I suggest you give it a try. While the science says boosting automatically accelerates the car at the same time, if you join this with feathering the boost. I found that you gain more control of your car in the air while staying behind the ball instead of slowly moving in front of it or losing control of the ball altogether. Now then, 60 minutes in and I'm feeling pretty good about my ability to air dribble. Now granted I can't do it every single time, but the hour I spent learning has not only helped me to develop skills to benefit me when it comes to air dribbling, it has also taught me more about car control. When you train one thing in this game, you are almost always training multiple things. For instance, while going through and trying to hit the same shots hundreds of times, I started to learn more about air rolling and keeping my car facing the right way over time. This wasn't something I was looking to train, but throughout the process it started to improve. Another aspect of my game that started to improve was my ability to read the ball coming off the backboard. This one does come down in the amount of times I hit the ball a bit too hard and had to readjust my car to see if I could still make the shot. Even though this skill improved based off my mistakes I was making in my main goal, I was able to learn either way. So then, how is my air dribbling? Well, for starters, it's much better than how it was an hour ago. I'm a lot more confident going off the wall as a whole and I'm fairly sure with a few more of these sessions I'll be able to master air dribbling altogether. So, if you're looking to learn how to air dribble, you should start by trying some of these things. 1. Try to match your speed to that of the ball. This allows you to come off the wall at the same spot and lines you up very nicely to carry the ball in the air. Number 2. Make sure you feather your boost. It gets said in every tutorial for a reason. If you feel like you can't feather your boost or you won't get to the ball, then do what I did to start to analyze your initial takeoff to how you can fix that. Number 3. Try driving for half a second after contact with the ball and then jump off so you can maintain your height without using boost. Number 4. Let go of acceleration in the air. Some people have said this does nothing for them. Personally, it helped me out heaps, so I suggest just giving it a try. And lastly, number 5. Sit down and dedicate a set period of time to solely working on air dribbling. When you play in free play and try it out, it can be easy to get distracted. By setting up the time to just work on this one thing, you can push yourself to learn a lot faster and to build muscle memory quicker. 
Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Now I am thinking of doing a 10 hour version of this video, but live streaming the entire thing to YouTube. Do let me know if that's something you want to see because I think pushing myself for 10 hours to practice this one mechanic, I will see a huge, huge improvement. And so I'm, I'm just, I really want to give it a try. So please let me know what you think about that. Please let me know if that's something you want to see in the comments below. Otherwise, that is everything for me today. I'll see you next time.